part 1 hello children how are you all today we are starting a new story today we are going to start a new story we have learned we, we have uh, done lot of activities from story number 1 story reader number 1 to story reader number 7 we have done seven stories we have done 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 we have done seven stories now today we are going to start a new story that is story number 8 that is story number 8 I don't know anything about the story. I don't know how the book look like. I I really don't know how what all are there in the book. What how colorful the book is. What pictures. What all we can see in each and every page. I really don't know anything. I really don't know. But so what we are going to do is we will um, listen to the questions. and you will answer to your mama you are going to listen to the question so what i'll do is i'll just um, ask you few questions on each page okay and this book is slightly different this book is slightly different children it has a center spread it has it's not a single page it is having a center spread so you You have to open the book on a table or on a floor or anywhere properly. Then only you will be able to look at the picture and understand the story. Okay, you are very carefully going to listen to each and every question which I am going to ask you, and you are going to answer the same uh, answer immediately. to your mama or papa or whoever is with you you are going to ask answer them immediately so shall we do the activity shall we predict the entire story hmm i am going to ask you you are going to children you need to be very na um, children if you answer questions you will become Super smart. If you answer questions, you will become super smart, and your brain will become sharp. Your brain will become very, very sharp. So you are going to answer. Yes, we will see the activity. Okay. Are you ready for the activity, children? So now, look at the picture and guess what is the story about. Can you guess? There is a garden. Which there is a pathway. There is a lovely sky, and there is a house. So, can you guess what the story is about? And why do you think so? Why do you think it is about a house? What gives you this idea? What gives you? this idea what does this picture show what does the picture show you turn to the first page now children look at the picture and children this is a center spread okay so look at both the pages okay now name the objects in the picture name the objects what all you can see you can see a sofa set you can see pillars you can see windows yes you can see a gallery what now what are the colors you see in this picture what are all colors you see you have yellow orange yes brown and many more yes now we'll go to the next page turn to the next page children what do you see in this picture what do you see see children see on both the pages okay 
see on both the pages what do you see in this picture there are many people yes there are many people over here and can you guess who are these people can you guess who are all of them there are many people standing and there's some work, people working yes so who are they is the house fully done why not why the uh, is the house fully done and why not okay now we'll move to the next page look at this picture carefully children who are these people who are these people there's people some uh, there are some people working over there who are they and how do you know and how do you know what they're doing some work yes are they doing some work so you need to guess who are they and how do you know you're not supposed to take help of mama you need to tell on your own okay now turn to the next page this looks interesting this looks like a busy picture what are these people doing they're busy they see the people are working they're busy busy doing something i don't know what all they're doing they're trying to do something yes and what are the objects you see in the picture what all objects you can see in the picture children you need to answer you need to answer to your mama and papa what all pictures you see okay